Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we saw how useful the dot product can be, especially trying to find the angle between two vectors. But let's say that we're trying to find the perpendicular unit vector to a plane in three-dimensional space. For that, we could use the properties of the vector product. Now, to do that, we take a look at our plane right here. We can see that it crosses the x-axis at x equals 1, the y-axis at y equals 2, and the z-axis at z equals 3. So what we can do is we can define two vectors in the plane uh, that's given right here. So let's say we have one vector. We call that the a vector, which runs from the point where it crosses the x-axis to the point where it crosses the y-axis. And then we can define a second vector, b, like this, which runs from where it crosses the x-axis to where it crosses the z-axis. So let's call that the b vector. And notice that both vector a and vector b lie in the plane that's given. If we now take the cross product, the vector product, with a and b, we'll get a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. And then if we divide that by its own magnitude, we get the unit vector. So that's the strategy. But first, we need to define the two vectors a and b. So the vector a can be defined as, well, it starts at x equals 1 and it ends at x equals 0. So the direction in the x, the, the magnitude in the x direction would be a negative 1, so it would be minus 1 in the i direction. So instead of using x, y, and z, I'll use i, j, and k this time. So it will be minus 1 in the i direction. It'll be 2 in the j direction plus 2 in the j direction and 0 in the z direction because vector a lies in the xy plane so plus 0 in the k direction and then vector b is equal to it starts from x equal 1 goes to x equal 0 so minus 1 in the i direction it's in the xz plane so plus 0 in the j direction and plus 3 in the k direction because it goes from uh, z equals 0 to z equals 3. So now we have vector a and vector b defined. Now if I do a cross b and I use my right hand rule, I point my fingers in the direction of a, curl my fingers in the direction of b, and the resultant vector will point out of the plane in this direction. If I take the dot product in the, the cross product in the other direction, b cross a, I will end up with a vector pointing in the opposite direction. So that's why I want to go a cross b. So let's do that. A cross B. Well, this is, that is equal to, by definition, the I, J, K, the X, Y, and Z components of the A vector, and the, oop, that should be the B vector right there. Let me erase that. There we go. Make these just a little bit longer. There we go. We have the B in the X direction, B in the Y direction, B in the z direction. So these are the, the x, y, and z components of B, the x, y, z components of A, and that's how we do a dot product. So this is equal to, and that will be i, j, k, and the A components are minus 1, 2, and 0. The B components are minus 1, 0, and 3. Okay, so this is equal to i times, if I hide this column right here, I have those four elements left, so it's 2 times 3 minus 0 times 0, so that would be 6 minus 0, minus j, if I hide this column, I'm left with those four elements, and so I can see that it's minus 1 times 3 minus 0 times negative 1, so that would be minus 3 minus 0 and plus k, that should be a k right there, and then if I hide this column, I end up with this minus this, so this would be 0, minus times the minus 2 would be plus 2, so 0 plus 2. And then simplifying that, it looks as follows, so this is equal to 6 in the i direction, minus times the minus, that would be plus 3 in the j direction, and we have plus 2 in the k direction. And let's call that vector c, that's the, the cross product of a cross b. And if I draw the vector c, I end up with something that looks like this. There's my c vector. So now if I want the unit vector in that direction, n, the unit vector, that is equal to the c vector divided by its magnitude. So it's equal to the c vector divided by simply c like that. Either way, it's the same thing. So let's take the c vector. The c vector is 6i plus 3j 
plus 2k divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the each individual components. That would be 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared. That's 36 plus 9, that's 45, plus 4, that's 49. So that's equal to 6 in the i direction, plus 3 in the j direction, plus 2 in the k direction, divided by the square root of 49, which of course is 7. And so finally, we can say that the unit vector perpendicular to the plane is 6 over 7 in the i direction, plus 3 over 7 in the j direction, plus 2 over 7 in the k direction. And if you don't like i, j, and k, you can put x, y, and z unit vector, and it's the exact same result. But that is how we find that unit vector perpendicular to that plane. That's how we're done.